Okay, this is how to put the hive together. Um, you want a rubber hammer, uh, but I'd cover it in a cloth so you don't damage any of the panels. Now, the panels have been um, designed so they have a, a fourth hour tolerance, which is 0.1 of a millimeter. And the most important thing with this is that the um, you just gently sand all corners when you get it because there may be flash on the edges and you don't want them to catch as they're going in. A lot of holes won't be showing but that doesn't really matter. You just sand just gently sand all all mating surfaces uh, uh, and then that should be okay. Now the important thing is to fit front and back first. Um, so you want to get a, a corner in. It's a bit tricky. The very first one's a bit tricky. Oops. Uh, let me just do it this way. check that it's fully aligned there. If it's not, just tap it slightly until it's flush at both ends. All the edges, all these edges must be painted and treated uh, once it's assembled. Now when you've got the base in, put these golf tees in from below. Just tap them in. It doesn't need as many as our drill, but uh, if you put them in this way, they don't they don't stick out and get in your way. Uh, so that's that side on, and then we'll put the other side on. Check check for any sort of damage that the cutter does when it's uh, going round because that way, if there is, then you can put the, the good side on the outside. I think, for me, that's the best. Um, it is the best quality beach, beach ply I can get. nice and flush. If you don't want to use plastic pegs and you decided that that's how it's always going to be, um, put some 6mm dowels in glue them in. Um, as you see, it's fairly robust. It's, you know, um, it's not going to fall apart. Once you put your front and the back on, they must go on first, front and back, otherwise you can't get the ends on. Um, and then again, with the ends, choose, make sure there's no flash anywhere. And as you'll see, the holes for the legs aren't quite through, but you've only got to, they, the, the pegs, 
and the pins will pu just push those through so that's not a problem um, and then make sure that you get them both the same way around so check that um, you know your finish is good so what we'll do is uh, I'm going to do this one this way because I prefer the clean side on the inside and the, I say that because it's it, I, I dropped it and got it dirty um, but um, so just start it either side and then work it round and then stand it up Beautiful fit. Each kit comes with the pegs. You don't need that many really. I've probably overdone it on the pegs, but if if, if you want to assemble it with dowels, glue them in, but that, that, you know, that is not going to fall apart, I can assure you. Um, just tap them up a bit. If you have a nice flat, fairly low table, it's better. Um, and then again, just check that there's no flash with sandpaper. Make sure you've got it the same way around, because there is a front and a back. So the two lugs go to the front, because that's the high side. And then when you've got that like that, it will go together easier like this because you've now got it level um, so main body now together I'll just use the minimum pegs for now um, right so there we have it that's the main body um, 
the secret is now is your is the the uh, rails that the these are the rails that the um, frames sit on and they have to go in like this now they just they just slot those just slot into there like that best way if you like. And then I, I send um, screws with every one so that you can uh, put them together. Now, what wants to happen here is you want a two and a half mil drill and then just put a pilot in the middle where the holes are. Get that one in. I'll use a hand screwdriver because it's not that. Make sure you hold that down tight so there's no gap here. I mean, if there was a gap, the bead would soon fill it, but that's not the point. Um, I seem to have dropped all my screws. heads just go flush um, because there wasn't a facility to catch on the holes at the, 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 the factory that cut the hole for me. Um, so when these are in Do the front one as well. They just want screwing flush. Once it's all assembled, they really don't do anything. Um, so uh, that's the. So this is the front, and the roof hinge is here. So when you get these panels, again, make sure that there's a bit of an edge in every hole. no flash on them.
when the kits are, are done they will have pre-drilled holes here for the hinges um, at the moment we're still deciding what's the best hinge You can use your hands, but it's easier to hammer. On the production ones, all these corners are rounded. Little, we're doing little changes all the time. As you see, the hole's not visible, but it is there. If you want to take a peg out, um, you have a piece of wood here, yeah. If you want to take a peg out, the best thing is a piece of wood like that and just go like that and then it's out. Um, so uh, that's it. So that's the front on. And then do the back. Again, I've, I've already sanded this one. tight but uh, they're as I say 0.1 of a millimetre oversized so So that's the uh, the main body assembled. Um, so as you can see, it's nice and neat. Everything's tight. Um, as I say, these these holes here, they are they they've been done so that the screws just go flush. They're only there for a temporary hold. Uh, once they're in tight. Um, they're going nowhere and it's best to pre-drill them so you don't split this ply um, now that I know there's a few issues with beach uh, I've used beach ply Baltic high quality um, I had thought of marine ply but it's got a lot of downsides so um, yeah so that's the box 
I'll do another video on fitting the roof. Um, yeah, okay.